Hello, my name is Brett from Drobo, and today I'm going to be taking you through the easy setup process of the Drobo 5D. The 5D is designed for today's media creators and professionals uh, using USB 3 and Thunderbolt connectivity. It is a very easy process that should take no more than 10 minutes of your time. It really is the simple and easiest product to use on the market, as you will see. So the 5D box is going to contain the Drobo 5D itself and this components box, which is going to include everything else that you'll need for setup. So you open this up, includes the quick start guide on the back of this card, flip it over, there's our steps. The power supply, the power cable of course, the USB 3 cable, and on the back of our setup guide, you'll see these six easy to follow steps right here. Uh, couldn't be simpler. But before you begin, be sure you go to myproducts.drobo.com to register your product. You'll need to create an account and then log in to register. The next step for setting up your Drobo is to download the Drobo dashboard, uh, which is all in your quick start guide. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to drobo.com backslash start. And here we are, uh, we've launched our web browser. We see all the Drobo products available. We're just going to want to select the Drobo 5D and you'll see we have options for a Mac and a Windows version of Drobo Dashboard. So just be sure to select the appropriate version for whichever operating system you're using. And once that downloads, I'll uh, just go through the prompts for installation. And here it is in my downloads. You'll want to open that up. I've actually already downloaded this here. There we are and click install. And that is it. Once the dashboard launches, it will look like this and will auto detect your Drobo 5D. Here's ours that we've set up ahead of time. And this is the rest of the setup process. Very easy and simple. You just select the Drobo. It'll ask you to format the Drobo to whatever operating system you're using. And again, we'll auto detect which one you are so you, there's no guessing needed. Just select what you want to call the Drobo. It'll confirm this is what you want and hit format. Shouldn't take longer than a minute or two and that is all you need to do. After you've downloaded the Drobo dashboard and follow the steps to install the firmware, you're gonna to want to insert at least two three and a half inch SATA drives into the base. Now remember if you're using old drives instead of new drives, that you're just going to want to make sure the information on those drives is backed up somewhere else as a Drobo will format the drives when you put them in. You can also use an MSATA card in the accelerator bay under the unit for additional performance. Now with Drobo you can use any size, any manufacturer drive uh, inside the bays that you like. Okay. To finish setting up your Drobo, plug in the power supply, Connect the Drobo to your computer by USB 3 or Thunderbolts and follow the steps for setup. And that's it.